Ruth here, and this I'm finally opening is from Melco Molds. And like, here's their uh, card thing. So here's a like their little uh, blog, I guess, for uh, tips on cleaning and things to avoid. So you do scan that if you if you want to. So, uh, do find them on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and go to their uh, website. So that's that. And, uh, it seems she put in a freebie. So let's have a look-see. Mm. excited to see what it is. Ooh. She's a little cloud. Well, like a keyring, I guess, type thing. That's cute. So, uh, thank you for including a freebie. That's very nice of you. So, that's that. And here are the two that I bought. So, first one. Is this. Yeah, I don't want to give it away, so I'm just going to. Here is a Druzy bookmark. I actually don't have a bookmark mold, so I wanted to, uh, I thought these texture and stuff were pretty nice, and they look very shiny too. It's pretty shiny on the thing already anyway. So it should be lovely. There's got something on there, but hopefully I won't. It's just, um, hopefully it won't affect the, the resin when it comes out too much. I think it's just a surface thing, not a deep thing. Because like, if you put it in the light, there is a slight something. Um, right there. Any better there, maybe? Anyway, hopefully it'll be fine. Now for the last one, it is ta-da! A mini bookmark mold, just a normal. So it should be fun to see what I can make with these. So I actually do have a um what's the word? Affiliate link? Referral link, whatever, in the description box below. And I have a, I think it would say a 10% discount code as well. So, like, it's either 5 or 10% on the referral code. And if you, I think you can stack it. So, if you add the uh, discount code, you get a further. It's either 10% or it's 5 pounds. I can't remember anymore. But, uh, you get some discount. If you like, so if you want to use that. So yes, so um, this will be 
post it for a bit so I think I'll be able to make something and put it at the end of the video with the little demolding thing like I'm doing at the moment. If not, that will just be an opening of this. Okay, so time for demolding, I guess. Uh, excuse the messy bits because like, well, it's kind of messy. <laughs> so, so probably never know, I use some microwave covers and stuff to cover. Anyway, so let's do this one first, shall we? Um, hopefully it's bright enough or my zoom will be able to adjust the brightness or something. Like, or, or not, but... Okay, first up, we have this. It's obviously not finished yet, because it's still a bit flimsy, but... I just... I can demold it now, I think. So, hang on. Ugh. Just to make sure. I'm gonna put this on beforehand, but just to make sure I don't get excess or anything. It's not fully, fully cured. It is cured, but not completely hardened yet. So it's just. I don't know my. Fingerprints on it either. So here's the cloud. That's pretty. So I put in some white and light blue. Like a powder on the bottom, and just yeah. You know. So that's one. Oops. Leave it on here so it stay flat. So I'll just put this. Oh, I'll put it back in the packaging. Oops. And I kept the uh, things that came on. So these ones are here. Yeah, as you can see, it's not completely hard as the other one. I didn't do that one. I did these three. To be honest, I can't really quite remember the time I finished doing this yesterday. So. I just put some some like the bits of holographic uh, the part of the what's the word um, boost pack. You see, this, that's the uh, the back side of it. So I put this as the front because the entire booster pack was holographic. So I thought, you know. And this is like the other frozen bit on the bottom. So that looks pretty neat. Hang on. You just put it flat down so it would stay flat. So I want it to stay straight. Hopefully that's straight. <laughs> So next one I did is just basically plain white. Yeah. I did put some white mica powder down there. 
stamp something on there and see if that works or not. So hopefully it's clean enough. Use that if I did. So you just um, sweet. So now the last one you can sort of see is a, like a pinky kind of color with like a dark red kind of color. And there was like just one, one, I will respect. I decided just to leave in there. And I thought this was pretty cool. Obviously, the pink wasn't quite spread out. And it's kind of hard to tell because this, this pink mold, so I didn't really go over it as rigorously as this one. There was a dark red, like kind of a line. Or I guess dried blood red kind of color. Well, I thought that was pretty cool. So like it's very shiny. Very nice. Straight. Cause I did read somewhere that you're not supposed to have it in the mold further, you know. Over the uh, um, cure time, and since I can't remember when it was, I just take it out now. So for now, just put it back on the cardboard. Keep it nice and straight and clean. So lastly, I think it's I don't know if I fold it quite up high enough, honestly. And this one kind of bent forward, so. Let's just do this bit first. Not quite. Uh, I got one bubble in the back. Try to fill in with some UV resin. But this is uh, from a random scrap of uh, wrapping paper. <laughs> well, that would be nice. Proper length one, and it'd be real good though. But anyway, it was fine. Gotta fill that in though. Have to remember that. There is another bubble there. So, let's stop. Most of it, I did manage to get most of the bubble out, which is nice. But yeah, I did lift. Up, which I was hoping it didn't, but I know. So, honestly. Oh, and uh, randomly, I was gonna try and put and put this in one of the uh, one of these ones or the other ones, but it was too wide. So. And I dipped it before I actually realized it was too wide. So, at least I've got a coating. Got a coating, anyway. I didn't coat the back well. Didn't coat the back entirely, but still. It's nice that I have a coated one, though. I can put this on something. Like this. You know, as a card. I could even just, you know, like stick it on. Like that or whatever, or even on here, as a separate piece. But anyway, I thought that was a 
good thing. I don't know. But, you know. Anyway. This was uh, these bits the same as from the first one. Because it was uh, from a. From this one's. Uh, what's it called? Booster pack. Because I recently opened so This is the Modazushi booster pack ones that I've been opening if you've been watching my channel. Even though that was my stomach, I think. Ooh. I'm holding in my... This one seems to have risen above the resin a tiny bit, but... No matter. It still was coated in resin, so... It doesn't really have a... Not too bad. Oh, this is also a neat little mark. ID. So then, no, these two are the, the two main characters. So, since it was part of the same booster pack art, I had to figure out where to cut it. So this one does have slightly more resin in it. And I believe this one. But still, it, I decided to use... Oh, there's a bubble right there. You can't really tell, though. Right, right on the shoulder there. At least there wasn't any bubble on the bunny though. There's one tiny one underneath the chin. But anyway. So like a slightly thin because they overlap each other on the two characters in front of each other. So like this one was in front of the other character. But, well, but still attached to this one, so and it was kind of like a comic to this character, so I decided to put it in on the bottom of this one. Probably could have tilted it a bit more, but still. Kind of kind of be a cute bookmark thing. And then last though. Sorry guys, just getting distracted. <laughs> anyway, I can get it up with some tape later. Anyway, I'm going to distract myself. Hmm, not very many bubbles in here, which is nice. How I miss that one speck of glitter on his neck. Oh well. I do like that these booster packs are holographic themselves, so it gives a nice, you know. Anyway, so yes. So this is this one. And I uh, cut out the flower on the bottom of the booster pack. Stick one there. Along with no because I usually has this one water. So I thought it's a nice little bookmark kind of thing there. So just put these back in their cardboard to keep safe and straight. Oops, my leg keeps on moving. <laughs> well, anyway, well, that's the demolding of this. So, I managed to do it in a good time. Since technically this video was going out in was it, September. And I just finished this before August, so that's nice. So oh, if you're wondering, this scrap of uh, what's the wrapping paper. I mean, you know, you just use this for, you know, family 
labels on presents because, well, you don't really need fancy labels on family presents, do you? <laughs> on, like, family presents and whatever, yeah, but not really family presents anymore. <laughs> So yes, so I'll leave these for a few days just to harden up properly if I did mix my ratio of my resin properly. Hopefully I did. Um, so. This is from my last one. I just uh, I'm not sure what to do with it, so I just put in some of the uh, resin things I've got in here. Because I did put some, I did fill in some resin on the top there to, you know. Anyway, that's besides the point. I just wanted to put this on here before I forget. Because I used these tweezers last time. Anyway, now I'm just rambling for 15 minutes. 16 minutes. So I will sign off there, I guess. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. And the notifications. Over and out.